morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time y'all watching this hip hop. Yo, it's Marquee Walker, man. What's good, man? Yo, we're going to two places today, man. We're staying local a bit for the MC, Springfield Mass, Doomsday. And we're going to NYC to visit the producer, Mind Frame. Yo, Mind Frame, you did your thing on here, dude. Stop playing. They came out with a project. They call it an EP. It's called 1998. I wonder if that's their favorite year in hip hop. Let me know, Doomsday, and let me know, Mind Frame, was that your favorite year in hip hop? It's a good year. It's a good year. You know, it's like a good wine. You know, 1998. You know what I'm saying? But they call it EP. It's more than an EP, more songs. I'm going to call it a project. It's an album because it got more songs, but they call it an EP. So let's just call it a project. You know what I'm saying? So it came out August 19th, 2021. It's about 28 minutes. Bam, stop playing. Number one, 1998 intro. Now, Mind Frame. Mm. He gives us a movie type theme vibe about Doomsday. Gives us a brief intro on who he is. All right. Number two, man, Casino. Track on a whole nother level. I like this track. Beat feels like it's 3D. I, you know, like, you know how you get those, you, you hear a beat and you start getting those goosebumps? It's the beat goosebumps, man. And that's why I like this track. Uh, Doomsday reminds you that life is a gamble and his he's and he's built for it. He's built for the casino world, man. It's like a casino world. That's what he's, you know, he's giving us that type of feel. Uh, speaking of feeling, what about number three? Raw. We're going to give it to you. Raw. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Mind Frame rewinds time to 1998 and chops up Jay-Z's joint uh, with Doomsday's flashing back as well. He's flashing back with, his, with, his, with some type of storytelling. You know what I'm saying? Great storyteller too, Doomsday. Great storyteller. Uh, short and sweet track. Smooth. You know what I'm saying? Straight, straight. Straight, I like it. Number four, title track, 1998. Now, the title cut brings us back to the streets where pissy hallways, pissy elevators are common with Doomsday and his street co-worker getting revenge. I say street co-worker, man. I'm talking about like his partner in crime. They about to get some revenge or something. Something happened. Something went down. They getting revenge. Come on. It's the common story of the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Number five. Can you hear me? Now, with minor support from Lionel Richie's track. Y'all remember, hello, is it me you're looking for? The, cut, the way they mix it sound like a female singing it. It's dope. You know what I'm saying? We hear Doomsday reflect on police violence. Uh, from bad cops, bad cops, some of bad cops, man, not good cops, love y'all good cops, bad cops, come on, son, stop playing, uh, but great track from Mind Frame, and great message from Doomsday about the cop violence, and the unnecessary cop violence to black people, all right, number six, 24, uh, we get a lesson on the uh, number 24, and Doomsday breaks down he just breaks it down a bit, you know what I'm saying, about the number 24. We, like, I didn't even know numbers meant things. I guess numbers mean things. Like, I guess you know, like number seven means lucky, you know, whatever. I guess you can look into it in numbers and colors. I guess they all mean something, you know what I mean? So, uh, number 24, they break it down, and he breaks it down in the rhyme form. And uh, But my frame, he gives us a little Christmas Eve vibe. So, I don't know if it was, you know, that's where he was, he was, he was going with this beat. So, the 24th. 24, Christmas, I, I don't know, you gotta ask Doomsday, and you gotta ask um, Mind Frame where he was going with that beat, but it got, it got that Christmas vibe, you know what I'm saying, so I'm gonna say Christmas Eve since it's the 24th, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, stop playing, um, number seven, number seven, 29 Foster Street, all right, track brings you into Doomsday's world, uh, and reminds me of the, you know, those hood stories we you know, we, we still tell, you know, we, you know, we're getting up there, you know what I'm saying, at least me, and, uh, you know, I still, I got the hood story, man, stop playing, I already, I could, yo, I gotta write an e-book, that's what, yo, that's where the money's at, write an e-book about your life, you know what I'm saying, get, get money, um, wish there was another verse, though, it was one verse on here, I like this verse, I like this track, and it did remind me of hood stories, man, I used to have sessions back in the day with my boys, I ain't got, yo, that's another, that's another channel, <laughs> I'm going to put in the e-book. <laughs> i put in the e-book. All right, number eight. 
uh, Real Rap featuring Joe Mack and BP Living. Now, uh, Joe Mack, if y'all remember, he is from the group I just did a review on, MDS. You know what I'm saying? And that stands for the initial. That's the initial. So you got Joe Mack, you got Doomsday, and then Bonnie Stone. Speaking of Bonnie Stone, she was on one of these tracks. Uh, the track got pulled off a of title. But if y'all want to hear that track, go to YouTube and look up this album or go to um, Bandcamp and look up the album. And Bonnie Stone is on that song. You know what I'm saying? So there's really 11 tracks and not 10. Uh, so where am I? Oh, number number eight. Yeah, number eight. So Real Rap featuring Joe, Mac, and B uh, Living. So my frame is... He's in his beat bag. He's in his beat bag. He's doing his thing. Oh, they got a video out for this. So check out the video. Y'all can see the faces with the with the names and stuff like that. And Bonnie Stone, she's in there too. So y'all can see Bonnie Stone playing pool. Yo, Bonnie, I got next, though. I got next. You know what I'm saying? Um, BP Living, adding some real bars that gave you those hood goosebumps. You know, like when somebody rhymed, you go, oh, who's that? You know what I'm saying? So shout out to BP Living. Uh, and then you got, yo, listen, you already know it. You already know Joe Mack. Joe Mack's ending it with the headshot, man. He's ending it with the headshot, you know what I'm saying? Uh, number nine, You and I, I like this song too. Sounds like some 1990s war report type shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Capone and Noriega type of, type of vibe. Great song, though, great song. The piano, the piano heavy track takes you on a journey. This takes you on a journey while we get a street tale of Doomsday's uh, dream wifey, man, or, or, or maybe it was a real story. It might be real. Like, listen, listen. A lot of this stuff is real. I mean, they probably got to fabricate it a little bit so they won't, you know, you know what I mean, lock themselves up. But um, I like this story. Good storyteller and uh, real storyteller. Like a real, this is a real teller, not a storyteller. This is a real teller. You know what I'm saying? He's telling his real stories in his life. He's really getting gruesome and talking about his uh, personal um attributes and, and, and life lessons on this album so i like this i like this i like when artists open up when artists open up that's usually when the, the project is good you know what i'm saying so i see this project i like it i like it last track number 10 and be, yo like subscribe read a notification bell share the video it's free man stop playing man or buy some gear from my daughter or my line check it out check it out stop playing but number 10 war cry last track very impressed with the production. Very, very impressed with this production on this project. Doomsday gets more personal and brings these stories to life. He brings his stories to life. Uh, like I said on MDS Project when I did the review, um, aggressive, like aggressive rappers, people that got like real street stories, real street tales, they need sometimes softer tones to match uh, their vocals and stuff like that. Um, Lyrics need a balance of a smoother, like smoother tone tracks. And I think uh he'll go, he'll be very, very, he does very well. And the group does very well with those softer tone tracks because they got more aggressive, aggressive bars and stuff like that. Uh, like a great yin and yang balance, you know what I'm saying? This is 2021 Moolah Records. Moolah, you know what I'm saying? Yo, this is a great, great project. I, I see why you say it's an EP. You know what I'm saying? It's short. Maybe you just, you know, you just throw it out there. Some of the tracks is two and a half minutes. You know what I'm saying? Maybe three. Uh, but I think it's a project. I think it's an album. I like this project. Shout out to Doomsday and shout out to Mind Frame. Great production, man. I'll be looking into you and seeing what's going on. Start playing. Let's connect. New York, Boston, California, you know what I'm saying? Canada. Let's all connect. It's hip hop. Let's get the best with the best. The best producers with the best MCs. Let's do it, man. I'm coming back from Springfield. And I'm coming back from NYC, man. Listen, man. Love over hate, man. It's Beantown, man. Boston. 